from Black Thread Studio. It's Friday, it's September done. 13th, and I'm in my new stitching space, and I wanted to know what you thought about it. I'm getting ready to stitch. Uh, what, Kelly. What's wrong? This is not your spot. This is mine. <laughs> right, people? Oh, oh, excuse me. Yeah, oh, go find your own spot. Excuse me, Brenda. Here, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, have a seat. This is where I stitch when I'm watching my football games. So, with my husband in the background. Well, thank you for letting me sit there just for a moment. Just for a moment. Okay, let's begin our tour. Okay. All right, Brenda's okay. giving us a tour. Okay, this is the living room. All these up here are hands across the sea. Um, as is this one, that's a Scarlet House. I'm not gonna tell you the names of all of them. Okay. My husband made this for his magazines. Nice. Um, all this, I have stitched the sampler. Pink House sampler is for my paternal grandmother. Um, that was her. Now, her I name. was going to ask you anyway, should we just talk about it now? Because I'm getting the glare off of that glass mm -hmm. and not on some. What is your real feeling about glass? I always put it on. Museum glass, I always put okay. it on. Um, the framers put... Um, spacers behind it so i don't have a glass is my glass. preference well don't you think it's going to protect it more yes okay yes but i know some people want to be able to see or i think feel you, the if, texture but i, I think that's yeah. you can if you get good museum glass then that's fine yeah. i don't think that's an issue and in our area with the dust and the you know, because I have the windows open yeah. when it's nice out. Yeah. And glass is the way to go. So. Okay, so museum glass isn't necessarily non-glare, though, is not, it? Museum glass is non-glare. Oh, is and it? And it looks like you don't have any glass on it okay. at all. Okay, okay. So. But it's different than just plain non-glare. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I don't use any non-glare. I use either conservation, and now I use all museum. Okay. So in the early days, I did do some just plain glass. Mm -hmm. Then I did conservation, and then I've moved to museum. Museum is a lot more expensive. Okay. So yeah, um, which is if you're going to spend so many hours on a sampler, yeah, this is what you want to do. I agree. So all right. Anyways, okay. How cute are those little wool, wool appliques? Do you do that? I did do that one. Uh -huh. This is a punch needle I purchased from a fantastic Cute. punch needler. The This piece is a uh, Wallace nutting from my mother. Um, those, I stitched all of those. This clock is from my grandfather. This is a Courier and Knives original print Ooh. from my grandfather. Really? Isn't that cool? Now, do you like cats? Ah, uh, yes. This okay. is my oh. Howard that oh. has since passed away is that that's his paw yeah. print oh oh brenda i'm loving uh, that, that punch, punch needle, needle i did a long time ago yeah. it's a brenda gervais um this clock uh, my mom and i purchased together the school box is my husband's this is my husband and my oldest daughter yeah i didn't know how much you wanted to show or not show personal no for, that's for fine okay. and our michigan stuff that's a, a Michigan helmet. My neighbor worked for Rydell for 50 wow. years and he gave me that in exchange for something we did for them. Okay, so. Michigan is fine, <laughs> but my my brother played for the Badgers. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're Let's not gonna trick. You're not gonna trash talk. No, are you? no. Okay. No. 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 Okay. Can we start with something down here? Yes. Are these? This is called quillies. Yes. Do I, I know how I know that? that? Do you make them? No, but I'm getting into rug, rug hooking. Okay. Yes, and I purchased that year, um, several years ago. Very cool. Oh, you even have them in, like, behind the curtain there. I know. Okay. This is um, the one at the bottom, the bigger one at the bottom, is the sampler, mo um, floral motif sampler by the Scarlet House. This mm -hmm. is my chemo piece. Yeah, I, I do and, remember that. Um, I love that. I love, love, love it. So... Maybe when we, I, I don't know if we should just sit and talk about some of these. Can we revisit that? Sure. Because I kind of sure. want to know what how you felt and what that meant to you, sure. stitching through sure. that. Sure. Okay. 
Then these are just um, um, the, some prairie schoolers I stitched probably 20 years ago at least, over one and 25 counts. The one at the top is by Hands Across the Sea. Then that one's stick it yes. out to me. Yeah. So as I'm looking, because I, I do really love them all, but the ones that are sticking out to me on this wall would be that one. Okay. And this. Okay. I don't know if it's the color. And you know, you'll see know. the bigger them. versions of some of these um, prairie schooler because I have them in the other room on okay. bigger counts. And Jane Parsons. Yeah. And what about the hand, the heart and the hand? That was from Valerie um, Stitching in the Barn. Oh yeah, I yeah. know who she is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did These, she quit her YouTube, didn't yes. she, quite a while ago? Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen her. Yeah. This is um, a lot. These two are um, Scarlet House. This is Hands Across the Sea. The Rose yeah. and the Giant Pear. This you, clock is from my great grandparents. You know what I'm. You know what I'm finding, even though I've just been in here for a short time, mm -hmm. is that um, you really love talking about them. I mean, you love sharing them. Oh yes, I do. Yeah, you yes, do. I do. I mean, yes, you, I do. It's a true. Yes, I do. It's a true passion. And then um, that's a Brenda Gervais. This one with the big house. Um, that one up there is by um, Sampler's Not Forgotten. That was stitched for. I stitched it when Carol's saltbox daughter was going through okay. chemo. And there's your favorite, right? My, there's right. my favorite, Rachel Howells. Now, what makes that one your favorite? I um, love it. I'm just wondering why. Because that was the first time I met Tanya, and I went to her house. I saw the antique, and I just, I love it. I just, I love everything about it. So Yeah, the colors and everything. Mm -hmm. Stitched with all the called for. Mm -hmm. um, then there's a Brenda Gervais, an old blackbird. Um, now, Brenda, how really? How do you remember all the all these? Um, the just design? because just, I do. Um, you know, if I've stitched them, I remember. If I okay. haven't, I don't. <laughs> now this one, I can't remember. Red if Deer purchased. Sampler. Yep, Red Deer. Who is that one by? GGR. I love that one. And then Roses for Ruby mm -hmm. was by T um, Tanya, the Scarlet House. This is Sarah Stewart Hardeman by Needlework Press. The Martha Pudsey by um, Tanya. Florence Mary Dickinson by um, Nicola, Hands Across the Sea. That was a newer finished framed one, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yes. And this one is done with wool. This is by The Wishing Thorn and um, Elizabeth... Um, Hughes, Elizabeth Hughes. I'm getting Hughes. the best shot I can, but I can't bend down. Yeah. I have, okay, I love, I really love, uh, like, religious samplers. And mm -hmm. I, there's well, something about, some, I can't, I can't get myself to stitch any Adam and Eve. Oh, I don't okay. know A lot why. of people don't. I, it, is yeah. there, there must be a, I don't know what that is. I'm going to figure know. it out. People, uh, one of my uh, good friend of ours, Kelly, she says she doesn't like stitching naked people. So. Maybe that's it. Yeah, because okay. it's not because it's Adam and Eve. I think it is because it's naked people. Okay. But we were born Oh, yeah, naked, I forgot right? this wall. Yes. Yeah, let's come back. <laughs> okay, this wall, um, Jean from the attic stitched me this for my 60th birthday. Oh, what does so. it say? Um, it's, it's, it's about, uh, uh, it is a dear thing friendship, a sweet, a sweet balm, a fast, elusive bird of calm that flutter or life's tumultuous oh. ocean. So, now, do you think she got that off of like a, a bigger sampler? She probably did, yeah. and she stitched it on, you know, 56 or yeah. 62 or whatever. This one I purchased off the of stash unload. It's, I don't I think it's a primitive needle. Yeah. I'm not sure. Um, these, this is Blackbird Quaker Garden. Mm -hmm. This is, um, Black Dog Sampler by Tanya. Needlework Press. Um, 18 something? Yeah, 1853. Yeah, I love yes. that one. This is by Brenda Gervais, um, Quaker Manor. Oh, the clocks are so soothing. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you tune them out at this point? Yeah, or do you? yeah I can yeah. tell when they're not running. They're so, so. soothing, yeah. Um, this is by Tanya. Um, Cece Smith. Um, Blackbird up there, all joys for thine. This one is by Little House Needleworks, Millicent Turner. One of the first samplers I 
stitch. Oh, really? Up there? Know. What year do you think that would have been? Mm, I don't know. I, I didn't keep track. Okay. Then this one Laura made me, dear friend, oh, for I my 60th birthday. Yeah. This is from a Hands Across the Sea sampler and mm -hmm. Thomas. She took the motif from there. Um, Hands Across the Sea, uh, Fanny uh, Bramley. I just want to say for whoever does watch this, I'm doing the best I can. That's what I'm trying to watch. Look at you. <laughs> and while you're showing me, I'm already like moving on to the others. So Janet Reed is stitched in wool. I did that many, many years ago. Um, now, do you like stitching in wool? Yeah. Does it? Yeah. Simply um, the Simply Quaker Wool by Gentle Arts. I do not care for the Avisan Wool by Avera Swa. Are those stranded? That. Do you have to split them just no, like you the would? No, the Gentle Arts, you don't. You don't? Okay. No, no. Okay. Um, that's Ann Peg by Tanya. Okay. Um, this is Sarah Redfern by Tanya. The little blackbird one down there is... Um, I can't get down there. Yeah. If I get, if I do, I won't get back up. Yeah. So, and then that one's by Tanya, Mary, Sarah, or Mary Rowe. Mm -hmm. um, that's J just Nan. That was stitched in the eighties, twenty two thousand three. Oh, so okay. Twenty one years ago. I shouldn't say. Well, yeah, I did do something in the eighties, but it was like those greens and mobs. Okay. Yeah. Then up there is a drawn thread on the left and a just stand on the right. You, okay. Um, I can't. So I want to say sanctuary garden, maybe for the drawn thread. I'm not sure. But Brenda, it's also the way you have them displayed and all the other little. I don't tchotchkes that you I, have. We you just, just put, put them up. up. I do not about how they um because it's all going to be cohesive yeah. so um this big one is sarah casey unwin by chessie and me um this is um the one on top is elizabeth pool by um stacy nash harriet elizabeth co by brenda gervais um this is by um, needlework press george and hannah ashmore and this is one I did not stitch. I purchased it, and it's by Plum Street um, Jack something or other. So, and I leave it out all year. I don't, I don't care. Okay, I don't mean this in a creepy way. Yeah, but you know what the feeling I'm getting? Yeah, is that um, it, it would be almost like if you're going to go to England and go to Beatrice Potter's house yeah. and see how she lived and what it's like. I think your house is going to be a museum someday. <laughs> I don't know about that. Hopefully. I don't know about that. I And they'll, they'll be like, come and see what everything Brenda stitched. And, oh, you know, I'm talking yeah. like 100 years yeah, from now. I'm yeah. not talking. And well, we will be. We'll be long gone. So, and then but, I, but, can't, but can't you see it? Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be something, though? It would if, be. My husband would be shocked. <laughs> Now, how does, how does, um, cause I'll tell you how Jim talks about my work. He likes it and he's always says you're talented, but then he'll say, that's just a lot of work. And like he doesn't quite get it. Yeah. Rick is very, very supportive, mm -hmm. but if he had his way, yeah. these walls would not be filled with this <laughs> at all. But it's so cool. I mean, who, I, you're lucky that he, yeah, that, yeah, he, yeah. He, I am. Yeah. I am. This is my Brenda Gervais wall. Okay, I um, might have to step on your other side okay. because I'm getting a really bad okay. glare there. This okay. is Brenda Gervais, all of this. And this is my first sampler I stitched on 40 count. It's Mary. I don't know. It's not a reproduction. It's just one she did. This is an antique, oh, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm sorry about the glare, but... Yeah, this is probably regular glass. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at her with the crown. Yeah, that's Brenda's. All of these are Brenda's. All of them. So my friend, um, Sarah Stonehouse in England, that her favorite is Brenda, but she also got to go to Cal Slip and meet oh, Stacy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would have loved oh, to have been there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then this is my new stitching spot. And when we're talking, I will explain why I did this. Um, and these are all antique samplers behind. There's one behind my chair, in fact. 
and down. That clock is from my husband's um, parents. Um, Look at all those uh, needle, needle minders. minders. <laughs> yeah, I know. Isn't it crazy? And those. My light, my magnifier. I put a quilt here because I love it. I love this room. Okay. Um, oh, look at the yo-yos. Yeah, look at everything. I'm going to have to really pick. Pick around. Oh, look at all the those toenails. Those are all Brenda's. All those. All those. Shaker box, oh, and I yes. love her. So can I just um, interrupt for a minute? Sure. Because we've tried we've tried to get together before. I've tried yes. to get together with you and Laura. And unfortunately, it didn't work out for Laura to be here today. Right, right. But of course, we're missing her. And when she was here, it was when you posted this. When oh, you posted yes. this, I was said. like, Duh. I mean, it wasn't like, as Laura says, shroom. I, I, in a second, I was messaging you <laughs> and said, please, 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 <laughs> please let me come. Well, it's funny because Laura texted me after yeah. she saw that. And she said, what the hell is going on over there? Because so, she had no idea that I was moving this okay my, this used to be downstairs okay so what was here before it was a rocking chair which is downstairs okay and for again various reasons i moved it up here because this room was never used it was simply a pass-through room yeah that held all this my samplers my all my antiques all over here um and I decided we need to use this room. And the natural so, light that you get The natural there, light Brenda. is amazing because it's at the southwest yeah. corner yeah. is what it is. So, okay. and then all this is, well, that's my patriotic wall. Um, I'm very, very, very patriotic. And um, love it. Then these are all my antiques over here. That Mary Griffin. I you know, I have so or... many questions about that one. Yeah. Did you find that? Now, where do now, you get the antiques? I haven't found anything about I bought it off of eBay, but I did find that it was in a lot. Can of, I get a close-up up there? Sure. Is that, that, does that look like wool to you, or just am I just seeing it thicker? I think it's wool. I think. I know, I know it's not silk, that's for sure. That is, that one makes my heart pitter-patter, truly. Yeah. I think, I think. I'm not, I'm finding that, see like that one with that red, maybe it's the pops of red. Oh, this one chair. I got off of eBay. Um, oh, Brenda. Oh, look at the fringe on there. I know. What do you think, do you think they had that as a tabletop for I don't know. I don't, I really don't know. I haven't done any research. I will talk about this one. Okay. This one right here, my mm -hmm. mother stitched. It's Cruel Embroidery. She stitched it in the 70s. My grandfather was a Methodist minister. He mm. went to New Zealand for a year for a mission trip, and he took this with him. So this was in New Zealand for a oh. year, and then when he came back, he kept it. Then when he died, my mom got it, and then after that, I got it. So this has been around the world. Now, are, do, you, do you document that anywhere? No, I have not. <laughs> No, and do you feel okay about that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. My, right. my family knows. My kids know. My kids know. But I'd rather be stitching. I don't document okay. the stuff like I should. So, oh, well. Yeah, but it's kind of like my family Lithuan being Lithuanian. And, and we heard stories from my grandma. But now, and my mom doesn't remember the stories. Okay. But now, as we're wanting to teach our kids. Right. You know, this it's like that bad game of telephone where, you know, I'll, we thought Uncle Ar Albert was whatever, but now he was like probably blonde in the circus. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> you know, like the the stories get embellished. <laughs> and then this is all just a mishmash of different things. There's Blackbird. There's Tanya's um, Antopoli, which I have the antique for that one as well. Now, what count is that? Um, I think that's 36 count. Okay, with the yeah, black. So yeah. th is that about the small she would do on a dark? Yes, probably. And then these are just, that's a Just Nan on that um, red checkerboard. Yeah, I was going to say, kind of, um, do I want to say old school? I mean, that's old school. Yeah. That's probably from the 90s. Yeah. These are all prairie schoolers, probably stitched in the 80s. I stitched yeah. them when, like this one right here, you saw in the other yeah. room over one. This oh, is over two. Yeah. 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 Um, See, then, I, don't, I don't think I could stitch something twice. Yeah, I stitched that one three times. Oh, so. No. Um, I stitched, 
One was a gift for my brother and yeah. his wife. One was over one, and then one. This one, I think, I'm not sure. Um, I stitched it for me. There's another one. This one right here, I stitched for my mom. And that's over one in the other room. And Oh, I, what was that? I want to say there was one called Into the Garden. Yes. Was that the designer? Do you know who I'm talking it's about? It's Prairie School. These oh, are that all was Prairie, Prairie School. Schooler. Okay. Yeah. I want to come back because that one. That's um, Mary Bovey by Stacy Nash. I am just having a hard time, but but it's all good. And these up two up here yeah. um, are from the collection of Glee Kruger, who was a renowned needlework historian from the 70s. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, are we coming this way? Okay, so then okay. this way here. These are really old school. This is the first piece I got framed and matted professionally. This is a um, lavender and lace or butternut bow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Same with this one. Sorry, Brenda. I don't... Did you do that's the punch? a punch needle for a brand yeah. new Gervais. That's um, Tanya's. I just got back the framer. So I love the dog. Okay, but that one doesn't have glass on it. Yes, it does. It's it museum does. glass. Get out of here. Yeah. That does not look like it has any glass on yeah. it. I love yeah. the recessed frame too. And then these are, well, this is an antique I bought from Tanya. This is Jane Thompson. It has been released. Um, I had to get a huge frame. I can't send it off to be framed because it's on a board. Um, it's just oh, not. Yeah. It's cost prohibitive. Yeah. Um, Blackbird, Tanya. This is a, um, Ellen Strick, an antique from Tanya. She um, reproduced this. Yeah, that's really. This was from my I mother. I that. A stamped cross piece, cross stitch piece. Okay. And then, do you have stuff in the bathroom? No. Okay. No. And then I Here's stitched Scotty. this for oh. my first Scotty Lucy. Oh. Now will you have another dog or are you? Um, done? I don't think so. Yeah. So. Oh, I'm moving on. These so do you... I did not. Um, oh. I I did not stitch either. I did not punch this, and I didn't stitch this. I if I find something I like that someone's yeah. selling, I will buy it. Yeah. I don't care that I haven't stitched. Yeah, it. Yeah, that's so. good. I love that you have your fallout already, yeah. although I'm dripping wet. And then these, I stitched this, and I stitched this. These two I bought unframed, and I just got them back framed. Oh, so if anybody is interested in doing that, do you go on Facebook Marketplace, eBay? No, this was like uh, a cross-stitch stash group. unloading, oh, okay. and they had them. I, she had a whole bunch of them, and I... Just got these two framed. Cute. Very, very reasonable. Cute. So these, I stitched all of these. This was a plant from my mother. She died in 2009. So this is old. That is still I have one out there that was oh. from my grandmother. You mean outside? Yeah. It's Look a at there's Christmas a. Cat. Can we show a little bit of Rick's work? Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So do you bring that plant in? No, no. Really? No. He does not overwinter them. And no. You the Christmas cactuses are in the corner. We'll bring those in. Yeah, he just loves them well. And then all, all these I stitched except for that one with the fox. My daughter stitched this one, All You Need Is Love. Oh. I stitched this one right before my mother died in 2009. It's over one on 25 count. Oh Lord. And then this one I stitched right after she died. It's a Brenda Keys, um, over one on 25 count. So do either one of your daughters stitch? Really stitch? Or no, not just... anymore. Okay. They did a lot of Christmas ornaments um, at one time, but not anymore. Cute. They... Make or buy? They don't. Oh, oh that. that I bought. I don't quilt. Do you have some so. flowers in your yard? No, because of the squirrels. They climb up them, climb up and eat them. Those are I'm not a big sunflower fan, but my husband is, so. Okay. I just deal with it. This is all... Um, when I did hard hanger, and these are all specialty stitches. That one I did not stitch. I bought that framed just like that off of stash unloading. So, but all the other ones I stitched. Well, all just... the specialty stitches, all the hard hanger. Self taught, just by. I know, Brenda. Books. I'm kind of. Um, so, do you 
Um, I that looks like something I would have I had to. Bush. Yep, shepherd's bush. bush. Yeah. Yep. And then this is my. These are mostly hands across the sea. The three they are. The mm -hmm. three samplers are hands across the sea. The ones in here are all hands across the sea. One, two, three, four. This is hands across the sea. So are these parts of samplers that you took out, or are no, these, these just are small the counts? And you just did them tiny. They're tiny? forty count. Um, are you these, waiting? Oh no, you did a hem stitch on that yes, one. Yes, I did a hem stitch. Okay. These were in her words of wisdom box, uh -huh. and it was just like this. And I stitched it on forty count and wanted a sampler bowl. Okay. And my husband made this so yeah, that that's my so cool. pairs, and then this. Um, this is by Tanya. Yeah, that is so, you know, in the finishing, I know you talk about, is it Joy? Joy, I, yeah. All the time, yeah, unbelievable. Okay. And then over here, um, that's Mary Good. It has the same verse as Mary, uh, Martha Pudsey in the other room. Oh. Yeah. I stitched all of that. So you don't, do you just put your Halloween stuff out right now? Yes. Okay. I just, don't, I, I yeah. don't leave it out yeah. all year. No. Yeah. And then um, that is on wool. That's a scattered seed sampling. I want to do her. That was so fun to yeah, do. Yeah, I really want to do her. The alphabet is a antique I bought in New York when I was there at Hobby House. The two, um, all the, these framed, these um, matted birds are prairie schooler stitched for my mom. And when oh, she died, got I got them. them back. Yeah. I love the Our Father. That's an antique. I get a lot of questions about it. Mm -hmm. um, those are Prairie Schooler, um, over one on 25. This one is one I did for my mom when I was on maternity leave in 1987. And I framed that and it's a, uh, looks awful, but I'm leaving it the way it is. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, what, you did that one twice? No, they're two, they're sisters, Elizabeth oh. and Roseanne. Okay, do they have Rosanna. Oh, I see now. And yeah. they are done on wool there by the wishing thorn. Oh. These two I purchased as sh from shop models from Stitchville when they went out of business. Oh, what a good idea. Yeah, yeah, it was. What a it good idea, yeah. Great. Some miscellaneous, there's some blackbird, shepherd's mm -hmm. bush, Tanya's red chair sampler. Yeah, I love that um, one too. Another hard hanger piece here. That up there, I purchased. They were selling it, framed. It was crazy. Okay, I th I thought you were the one that had the red chair sampler displayed with a little red chair. I did, you did? at one oh, time, and I changed okay. that. Yep. Okay. I changed it. Cute. So. Okay, can we take a break for yes, a sip of water? Yes, yes. Go this way. Is there anything we need to know about those? Um, there's two prints. Um, one on the left there, that's the where I grew up the in the town. That's the courthouse. Aw. It's still there. Yeah. And this one down here, right below it, is the Board of Education still there. Now, were those, did you find those? Like My a, mother had them. Um, they were sold in the town I grew up in. Oh. So. And all kinds of stuff. Yep. Uh, most of it I've stitched. Some I've purchased, but all of this I've stitched. Drawn thread. I bought this. I bought that. I stitched that. So when you buy things, do you buy because you love it or do you look for good put, deals? I buy it um, because I like it and it's such a great deal. The frames are... Um, Worth more than Hey, look at everything behind you. This is a bookcase that I had when I was a child. My husband stripped it and finished it. And just all different kinds of things that I love. My mother wrote this. I have my cat's name was Howard. And that's her writing. Fatty Fatty Tom Tom. Aww. That's what she because she found him. He came to her house one day, Aww. and she rescued him, and then I had him for 16 years. Oh, my goodness. So. I See, I'm drawn to all this because um, I've been getting into rug cooking. The I don't know needle. I don't know that I want to punch because that's a different. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's similar. This is but... a very good, um, her name's Jenny, and she sells her stuff on um, Instagram, and it's very, very, very yeah. hard to get it. Well, and look at this, Brenda. Oh, that stained glass we had got years ago. Okay, well, I love the stained glass, but I'm talking about oh, the, this. Yeah. the thread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. 
And then these are some bell pulls that I purchased. And then these are Dutch show towels that um, after hearing a Brenda Gervais lecture, I purchased some. Oh, very cool. I bet that was a good lecture. Yeah, Brenda's, um, I love Brenda. What I did they love, use love, love Brenda. bell pulls for? What was the significance I of think them? it was to pull for the servants originally, you oh, know. Oh, yeah. But these, I think, were just stitched by, this is all cruel. Yeah. This is petty point. Most of them are cruel. I just got them because I like them. Okay, I'm experimenting with the flip of the camera because um, this way I don't get as much. Okay. I mean, the de the depth is in it is okay. I'll just we'll make it work. So, this is my oops. oops oh, oh, I'm no, sorry. That's, fine. that's um. Does it have thread in there? Yeah, it has two spools of thread. I purchased. No, did this. you? Okay. I did not make it, but um. Oh no, it doesn't. It has um something else, but the other one I have another one has thread in it. It's for to hold like pearl cotton, so. Okay, yeah. now is this, I don't know that this is a, t a personal question, but I think people would like to know this what? for their own. I mean, I don't know if a, most people would have as much collection, collectibles as you have. No. But do you have, ins do you have insurance extra on this? You don't? Because I'm thinking I would. Well, it's very hard to get it, would be to get it appraised. I've talked to my boss about oh. it, and so let's just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay so all these are antiques for the most part some stitching back there it's a little blackbird piece back there yeah. and some stitching up there oh. all of this is antiques what about that little angel drawing that was there? a card that i received oh, and i sweet. framed it and these brenda those i purchased those were antique on ebay um no some of them were through the glee kruger when her daughter Whitney was selling them. Oh, oh I should okay. put this light on. So, but I imagine everything in here has a story. story yep. Or, yep. you know, like this. Oh, but look at the, the Scotty, Scotty dog. That's why it. I bought that. Yeah. Yeah. But like this, did that belong to somebody in the family? The no, box? That no, that was um, something I purchased um, through someone who was downsizing their collection. So. But, so, did you, did you have a vision of... Like putting all this together, or do you just no. keep adding? And I just buy the things I like, like and make and then, it work. So well, because if you like it, then it all makes sense. Yes. Can I? Yep. Look at that. That I got for a steal. It was like ten dollars on eBay. Now, do you have any interest in doing anything else besides cross stitch? Um, I do, I have done punch needle. Mm -hmm. I've done hard hanger, and I've done all the specialty stitches. But now I'm just into the axis. Just yeah. samplers yeah. and I don't mind. I'll do a specialty stitch, but it's not something I seek out anymore. So Okay. Now <laughs> to toot my own horn. Um I did fiber talk uh -huh. about glasses. Okay. I'm just curious if you have special glasses for stitching or no. do you, you and you don't have any trouble? Or no. you use your I, magnifier? These are progressives and I use a magnifier and good lighting. And, and that I works for you. Fine. Okay. Yep. Um, is this where your stash is? Mm -hmm. You know what I really, really want to see? Did what? I already give you a heads up on this? No. I want to see in person what 56 count looks like. Oh, I can show you that. I've not even done 46 count. Yeah. I mean, I usually do 36 count. I think I have mm -hmm. some 40. But to even see 56 count, will it, will it scare me? No. Okay. You know, Jean says anybody can do it if you have the right light. Yeah. And um, you can see it and anyone can see it if they get the correct magnification. And I did it under the guidance, guidance of Nicola. And Jean has always said, don't say you can't do it until you try. And I tried and I did it and I finished a little sampler and I have a couple other pieces started. So, so but if you look at something, are you, are you in a place now where you look at it and you go, Oh, that would be really adorable. I'm, I really want to do that one on 56 count. It depends or... on who the designer is because oh. if it uses over dyed threads or mm -hmm. what, I don't, I think those are too thick. Mm. So I need to find something that's a hundred and a hundred point three. So oh, can I so. see that too? Cause yep. I've never, you know, I'm kind of, kind of, I, I don't, I do DMC and I do 
the thread gather silks because okay. he's my good friend mm -hmm. so i can honestly say i haven't even tried another silk okay. so but you guys talk about 103 so yes. much can i see what I that looks like okay mm -hmm. i just want to see what they look like sure. okay so our, we're, you won't forget we're going to finish no, the tour first right the, you'll see the 503s okay. oh geez okay this um desk was my mother's and um it's filled with all kinds of stuff i stitched that for my mom up there um some things are from my mom over there um no your prairie your santas do are those out all the time these are yes okay i didn't they they're out yeah not the rest of my um christmas stuff okay now the all the spiral journals back there is that stitching? are they they're just um blank for the most part okay they're, they're not filled in i just got them because i like them uh me too <laughs> <laughs> that's what i do <laughs> then these are these chat books i've talked about and i've gone back to 2016 you um take your photo roll or your camera roll yeah. and you send it to chat books and they make a book of it and i think chat it's fabulous books. okay uh -huh. it's an app Okay, let's make so. note of that chat books because I don't insert stuff or make notes under oh, okay. the yeah, chatbooks.com. Chat okay. And it's a, or it's really it's an app because they need to access your camera library. Oh yeah. And so and then this is all just stitching and oh, all kinds of stuff. Look at that dough ball with Can is I that all pin all cushions or yeah, for the most part. Yeah. There's a bis couple biscornos in there. Yeah. Um, now, did you finish those? The Viscorners? Yeah. Yes, I did. Wow, Brenda. That's that was another back thing in the that's day on, before Joy. That was, that's another thing on my list. <gasps> oh, that bar, <laughs> big jar of buttons. buttons. Okay, would you notice that if it was gone? I <laughs> yes, it I would. Okay. <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> and then these, I, I love the spool cabinets, and they do have... Um, some of them have my um, flower thread in them, like this. Wow, I knew you had some, but goodness, that yeah. that is. Um, this is Jenny Thompson flower thread. And do you search for them, or do they just no, find they, you? They, um, what do you mean? I mean, like. The spool cabinets, I find yeah. them, but I can't get any more. I have no more space, so. These are some of the, some hundred threes that I put on here. This is from Nicola. I purchased that. Yeah. Now she's something else too. Are you talking about Nicola Parkman? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And she has been here um, this summer. She yes. was here. Yes. And then I love Raggedy Ann dolls. So I have a little collection. These are um, Saju. Um, okay, wait. Can we go back to these just for sure, a second? Because sure. they all have the same face. So are they from a certain era or somebody? Somebody the same made, them. made somebody them. Somebody made them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are really cool. Oh, there's a couple there too. And then this is some of some of my stash of oh. the Tanya's there and Vicky Jennett's at the bottom needlework press. Okay. So you it's have them. Um, you don't have them by like category, but more by designer. Right. 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 Okay. Um, this is all the size you stuff. Um, some of it I got in when I was there. I was gonna say Versailles. you got to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at all those drums. Yeah, I made one of them. That's I mean. It's back behind another one, but yes. This one, yeah. Christine from Wild Star Snaps made this. Oh. It says, buy all the blackbirds. Yeah. Yep. I think um, Sarah just, we just ordered some stuff from Country Sampler. Oh, okay. Because she's in England and it's hard for her to get yes. things. Yes. So I just, this was one of the ones oh, okay. that um, I ordered for us. So Yeah, that was when I went to retreat and Brenda was there. She did that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see real pottery up there. Is yeah. that real pottery? I don't know if it is or not. I liked it because it said ABC. Can we so. see if it is? I can't can you reach, reach it. I can't. Because um, I, I need, can't, so. do you care if I re try no, to reach? you, you try to reach. Yes. You know yeah. why? Because you know Cambridge real pottery is where my family is. So if I don't know my real pottery, which I do. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. That one is too, Brenda. Okay. And I don't think, I don't recognize that pattern in the back. Is that okay there? Yeah. Just turn them around. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so he's facing the front. I actually have that ABC, and there's a plate that goes with it that I okay. have um, for Sam when he was born. 
So, okay. and then this is all just a Mod Podge of different things stitched Blackbird, Tanya. Um, there's a Stacy Nash. So, look at all the books. These are all the books. I love, um, I figure one day when I can't stitch anymore, I can read my books. So, that um, Feller needlework, because mm -hmm. it's so big, is that a good one? Mm -hmm. It's very hard to find. I was fortunate enough to find them both mm -hmm. from a woman who had several in England this past summer. So, And then this is just, again, more stitching. Now, this is quilting, and I just... I just oh, this is I bought this from somebody this did is so you? happy and this I don't do any quilting Barry stitch folk made that that's covering up my TV um, yeah another amazing talent and that you know that's the thing about you and Laura you guys are so good about um exposing and sharing oh you know thank you like all thank the people you. that yeah you, it takes a village that, it, do, it does mm -hmm. and you know that's important yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, yeah. And then here's all my stash for the most part. Um, it's by designer. The ones that are turned around are just samplers that are not sp specific. Blackbird, Scarlet House, and Plum Street take up a lot of that. Um, Hands Across the Sea, this is all Nicholas charts. So, then, well, I mean, okay, so... Well, maybe we're getting to it. Are are there things that you want to say? Oh, oh. <laughs> Here's the 103s. Oh, my God. There's one cabinet here and one here. My husband made, I hated the plastic, but these are great for storage. So my husband made these cabinets. Oh, my So here's word. the 103s. Okay, is there one that's already coming up? Like, it's um, unwound so I can just feel it? Well, I can unwound, unwind one of them. It doesn't matter. I just want to um, feel, so what do you like? Is it it's, the way it pulls through? It's just a nice, um, I just love the one strand, the shine it gives, and you would use it on 40. Some people don't even like it on 40, saying it's too thin, but I love it. But, and you can use this on 56. But I wouldn't want to use it on 36 no. if that's what I... No, to. you would need to, to use two strands. So 40 or higher. Yep. Okay. Yep. And I have done some ornaments with it back in the day from Just Nan, and I used two strands. So you can do it. Yeah. It's just... Well, um, and the co the color palette is... seems yes. like it's endless. And here is some 56 count right here. <laughs> Some fixed oh. 56 count Kingston. Wait, can you bring that under the light? Yeah. This is the rocking chair that was upstairs. This oh. was my mother's. And um, so it's down here. It's a beautiful mm -hmm. rocker. Okay, we're looking at so. 56 count. Show me. But you have, this light's terrible. And you, if you put it in a hoop mm -hmm. or a stretcher bar or a Q-snap, it opens up the holes and you can do it. If I can do it and Laura can do it, anyone can try. Okay, can you hold this for me sure. for a second? I got a, I got a, oh, Brenda. Okay, so you go over two. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could see if, if, This is yeah. terrible lighting. No, and I could see if you had a magnifier. Okay, what, what fabric is this? This is um, Cafe LA, just yeah. Kingston by Zweigart. Okay. Zweigart is the manufacturer. Kingston means it's 56 count, and Cafe LA is the color. This is not an over dyed. Um, it's just straight Zweigart. So, I mean, obviously, just because you talk about Jean all the time in the attic, yes. if I was going to try 56, I would probably call an order from them. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. This is where I got mine. This is their signature label. So... Jean will get you started. Is that probably what sh they would send? I would or go with um, a fox and rabbit. At 56 count, the holes are a little bit bigger. Oh, they are. Than this. Okay. So I would get a light color fox and rabbit, mm -hmm. like a Inca or a white clay. Okay. But fox and rabbit... Yeah. Cause you know what I'm thinking? What if, if I was brave enough to start it, just do some, maybe like an initial. 
yeah. like maybe my initial on one color just to see. At Call the Attic. Yeah. They could yeah. certainly give you yeah. something. They could let you try it. When we were there for summer school, they had a little basket of little pieces of 56 count. Oh, and I think they idea. had something to go with it. You use one color so you're not putting a lot of money into an investment that you might not do. And get 103. And Jean uses Swasserfine. She likes that better on 56. Nicola likes the 103 on 56, and so do I. Okay, so what what's the difference Swasser between the... Swasserfine is a, almost like a sewing thread. It's much oh. uh, thinner, mm -hmm. whereas 103 is a little mm -hmm. bit fatter. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you feel like you are really, really not knowledgeable, or do you feel like there's always... There's always, always something, something to learn. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Always. You have to keep your mind open. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. There's always, always, always. I mean, so to learn. I mean, during the year when you're going into your your year of like, see, for me, I think stitching kind of starts in September. Do you do you have like a like mm -hmm. where January Every day. sets? Okay. Every day. So do you feel like you're um, thinking, oh, I'm, boy, I real I didn't know that. I mean, is there something that like, what's the last thing that you really think that you were like, oh, I didn't oh, know I that. can't remember. That's a, it's a kind spot of a, question. It I is. can't think of it. Yeah. But I'm constantly learning from people with floss tube, meeting people, hearing their stories mm -hmm. um, of what works and what doesn't, mm -hmm. or a little trick or something. Yeah. Um, like, do you ever use a laying tool and, and no. lay threads? Yeah, because no. I've seen people talk about that. I'm like, do I, is that something I need That's to do? That's only for me if you use um, two strands and oh. you want it to lay nicely for a sand stitch or something. But mm -hmm. I don't feel that a laying tool is necessary. So, for and on, for me on 36 count, I do use one strand. Then and I think it, Yeah, and I think it, it looks fine. Yes. I mean, there are times I'm wanting to get some and stitch it <laughs> try it i was gonna buy i got it i got a need well and i did get a needlework press um it's some flowers it's the one that's compassion and memories or it's in french or something oh, okay. i think she just anyway i'm thinking i wonder but that's oh, that might be too much to do on okay. a 56 count but yeah i'm thinking about uh, it yeah okay i would start with <laughs> just an, a monogram oh yeah. lord look what i just saw it's this the is big my, tomato. The big tomato from Barry. Oh. <laughs> and a lot of these are my mini McBeans pins or um, Jersey Girl Stitch Co. pins. Um, Barry made the tomato, and um, there's a button here that Grace made and, or bought. And Sarah's Stitchy Spot made this as a crown, and oh. she stitched my initial. I mean, oh, and look at all these, Brenda. These are all the, a lot of them have been gifts. A lot of these, um, you know, bling for thread drops and mm -hmm. everything. So this is beautiful. This I bought, um, Primson Greenway made these. Um, this is all my Stacy Nash. These are just color and cotton threads. Um, DMC down there. Um, I like DMC. Yeah, I love DMC. There's nothing. Yeah nothing nothing wrong with that do you think there's a difference between like the dmc that you'd get at joanne's and what you would buy like on the dmc website or no. if you would get it's all the same all the same yeah all okay. the same all the same so well, how i fun was have this? heard that the because of epa regulations in the uk there's been some dye lot changes mm. so what they're now sending to us is different than what we may have had at our stash so you just have yeah. to make yeah. sure you have enough for your project and mm -hmm. you won't have any dye light issues. Yeah. So. Okay, this was so fantastic. I'm and just take another one. cabinet there that my daughter bought. You're so lucky that your husband knows how to do this woodworking. Well, he hasn't I'm... done anything down here. Yeah. Um, this is a dress. Um, that dress there is from my grandmother. My maternal grandmother made that. Oh. My mother had one and so did she. It's all that, um, what's that called? Smocking. Smocking, yes. You know, some some people are still doing that. Oh, like I, know. Classes. I, I know. know. I don't I know. know. I don't know if I could do that. I've got too so. many other. And I love this. 
Yeah, I got that. That's an old birds of a feather. Someone was selling it. Oh, really? Didn't know yeah. what she had, and so I bought yeah. it. So That's fantastic. Okay, you want to go it. go sit and okay. chat for a minute? Yeah. What, so I already time. asked you, but I already forgot. What are you going to stitch on when I leave? Okay, I'm working on two of, of Tanya's. One, Mary Finley, which was an exclusive through Shakespeare's Bedler. Okay. And then I started another, restarted another one last night. Remember Me, which I have the antique. So I'm going to oh. stitch that. Okay. So, All right. Yeah. Oh, Hello. look at that. Amelia, what does that say? Is that a card or is that stitched? Oh, no, that's from... Oh. Kathleen Littleton. Those are just postcards in there. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Okay. These are all a lot of needle books that I have stitched. Joy's finished. Very cool. And this is a gift. Some of them have been gifts. Um, do you think you're a fast stitcher? Or do no. you think? No? Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. You're just I'm diligent just and continuous diligent. and just, yes. yeah. 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 I don't usually jump from project to project. So, yeah, but I have, if I find that a project isn't making me happy, then I put it aside and find something else. Mm -hmm. So, well, that's smart. Don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. You have to be happy. Okay. 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 So now you, by now you guys know who I'm sitting with. Yahoo. Okay. So, yes. So this is, yes. our, this is, um, my gift to anyone who wants to uh, do a little stitch and chat with me. Well, Brenda, I'm getting cut off. I'm going to have uh -oh. to move. I'll have to sit okay. closer to you. But okay. I read that you don't, well, we're not drinking coffee. Yeah. But you're not supposed to cheers when you're drinking coffee. So you know what ours is? What? Sampler. Stitch together. Okay. Oh, sampler. I like that for you. It's sampler. Yes. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Here, let's, are you going to rearrange it for me? I was just going to see if we can tilted a little bit there okay Might so Brenda graciously graciously well she didn't invite me she said I could come <laughs> anyone who wants to can come so so and she's given given up her Friday part of her Friday and um, I drove in by Chicago on my Friday yes from so Wisconsin we're, from Wisconsin so, yes. yeah so we're really not that far from each other no. at all. Where do you live? In Brookfield. Okay, we had a client that had a... Yeah, you told me. Do you remember? Yes, tell. yes. Oh, you want to tell? Or no? It was um, Brennan's Country Farm Market, and they were in Brookfield, Monroe, two in Madison, and okay. one in Oconomowoc. Yeah, because that's yep. where I work. Yep. And now they have, well, they had three in Madison, and now they just have one in Madison, but they're no longer our client, so it was oh. sold. That was such a big treat for us because they had so well, you know, if you're not from Wisconsin, you really don't know. Right. But you're close enough that you might know when you get the real fresh, squeaky cheese curds. Mm. What a treat it is. And they had the best. So whenever we're fresh produce yeah. and um, oh, yes. cheese and wine from Wines around the world. And crackers yep. and so whenever we're having a bad day, because our office was literally like two minutes from there, we'd bribe um, our manager to go down and get us Blue Mountain Road. Yep. <laughs> yeah. 19,000 Blue Mountain so, Road. Um, okay, so we're, we're a little disjointed because we've already done the tour. So I'm trying to think where we kind of want to start. So again, thank you. And I'm sorry, Laura can't be here. But maybe, she'll, maybe she'll be enticed by the mug. And maybe. <laughs> Maybe. And maybe she won't. If you had tab, she would be enticed. I can tell you that right now. Yeah, we were so. just talking about tab. Okay, so, um, well, we just finished up the tour, and you were yes. telling us what you are going to stitch. Yes, I so. Leave. So do you want to show that first? Yeah, I will show it first. This is a new one. I, I restarted last night. This is the antique. Do you want me to hold it for you? Yeah. Okay. This is by Tanya. And I restarted that antique oh, wait. yesterday. I just this realized. Is... Okay, I'm being very careful, but let me look at that antique up close. So, isn't that so interesting? The the pink of the flesh of the face, and then the other one's yeah. so white. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that something? Maybe she. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. They look just the one colors. looks like a Pepto Bismol. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, and so this is. I just started it last night. I'm using. 
Tefra, no, Cedar River Linen, and this is um, Maple Bark. Okay, what 40 count. Okay, 40, 40 count. count. Yeah. Can I see so, that? Mm -hmm. That's the back. That's the back? Well, yeah, your back. Well, don't we always want to see the back? So, I, the one I had started originally was on a Seraphim, but it was too orangey. So, I, I like I like that one. I I do too. It's obviously lighter than the original, but it'll be fine. It'll be. Now, fine. would you always start with the border first? No, I just start in the upper left hand corner. Oh, you do. So, that's why I started there. You know, I'm so old school. The first thing I cross stitched was when I was pregnant with Paige. I started, you know, in the was middle. A, it was a kit. Yeah, I start in the middle. Well, this is a little funny story because I wanted to have the sampler done for her by the time she was born and it didn't, I didn't. So I brought it to the hospital with me. Oh, like what did, when did I think I was going to cross yeah. stitch in the hospital yeah. when I'm in yeah. labor? Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so anyway, but after I had her, she was born at 7, 18 PM on a Thursday night during Magnum PI oh. with Tom Selleck. What could be better than that? Um, I, I was, I was kind of like hyped up and I thought, Oh, I'm going to cross stitch. So I got it out, and I really was cross-stitching while the hospital, this was in um, Sterling, Illinois, they had a blackout planned to do some electrical work. So at midnight, they turned the lights off, and I couldn't stitch anymore. Oh, oh my gosh. And I never did finish that cross-stitch. Even to this day? Mm -mm. I wow. have it, but I didn't finish it, but I started in the middle. That was and my, I still do. That was my first project, was a birth sampler for my oldest Aww. daughter, and I did finish it. So. Okay, you're kind of hiding so. that project bag a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty, it's um, pretty nice. It's it's by a woman. She's on Etsy. It's called Vacay. And um, I saw this from a fellow stitcher. It has these pockets in here, four of them. And this is all French general fabric. And... I don't, I only have three of pockets filled. These first two are with 56 count. Um, so, so this one is this by Hands Across the Sea. This is from their wild box. And this is. So are these projects you are working on and you're just, and you're keeping them in there? Or is this Hands Across the Sea that you're keeping in this? No, it's because I'm keeping Tanya's in here oh, too. It's just. Okay. So there's the little start I had yeah. on it. But um, that's one of them. And then in the other pocket, hold on, is another 56 that I just made a small start, not even worth sharing, but I've seen this. Again, this is from the Letters from Europe that, um, oh, shoot. box. I see that. Yeah. Mathilde. Mathilda? Yeah. Mathilde. Yeah. What a great name, huh? So, anyways. Um. So, and because they're, the charts are small, they fit in here. So. But you know what I'm thinking too, because... And then this zips closed. Yeah, I love that. I wonder if it would be nice if there was like a, even a little side handle on it. Oops, yes, no. I but, don't know. But because I do other things too, Brenda, you know what mm -hmm. else I could see for that? So make sure that they know vacay. Um, I could see using those different pockets to pack up an English paper piecing Oh, absolutely, project. absolutely. Um, embroidery, yeah. now that I want to do hook rugs, a hook rug thing, yep. yeah. You could do I mean, anything. You could use that bag for anything. See, and it's yeah. all, you can see that it looks like a book. Yeah, that's great. So yeah, that's, that's really pretty. One project, and then in the other one, this is from the red-haired stitcher, redhead stitcher, redhead stitcher. Sarah. So, you know what? I, I just thought of this. I mm -hmm. think about this to myself, but, and I feel so comfortable in your home. Like, I might just hang out for a while. <laughs> but I don't, like, these are my fabrics. This is my, this is what I'm called to. Your aesthetic. But I don't, I don't decorate that way, and I don't stitch that way. Ah, isn't that funny? Yeah. I yeah. know, I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. That I, is weird. Yeah, that is weird. I don't know. Then this is the other one I'm doing from, I, this is exclusive through Kitten Stitcher, Teresa Vinette. It's by Tanya, the Scarlet House. Okay. And it is Mary Finley. And I love this one. Oh. This is done on 
Did you just show this one when you when you and Laura did your yes. test tube? Because yes. it looks, I mean, if you guys are wondering, yes, it looks a lot different. So I can imagine, because even seeing this looks yeah. different yes. than when you showed it. I can imagine when you see. See how dark it is? I can imagine when you see the model stitch. Yes. You know, yeah. when you go to yeah. shops, what. I like how, so isn't that kind of interesting too because yes. on the other one you went lighter and switched it and on this one you're darker. It's a darker yeah this is um a mason linen and um I love it I love it so anyhow was that 40 count stitching. too yeah this is, is that 40. your go-to is a 40 40 count? yes and somebody asked me if I was going to switch everything to 56 and I said no because I have too much tied up in 56 or 40 count linen Okay, so. so what needles do you like to use? Um, I use, for 56 count, I use 28 count Colonial Petite. Barry sent some in her quarterly box that she sends, and that was a game changer for 56 count. So I've never heard of that needle. Can you order those from Barry then? You can order them. Just Google it. There's a place on Etsy that sells them in bulk. For 50 of them, it's less than $20. Oh, so. Okay. And then for my regular 40 count linen, 28 count Peacemakers mm -hmm. is what okay. I've always used. And I, yeah, if we're given a needle at a retreat, it's yeah. never a peacemaker and so I always bring my own. Okay, and then um, do you stitch with a hoop? Yep, stitch with a queen hoop. Um, do you use the same size hoop? No, I have this one, this is a six like inch. Like a six inch, yeah. And the other one I'm using is a five inch, so. And the queen hoops, you'd have to find those on eBay or yes. someplace you yes. can't. Um, they, no one has, no, these are vintage. So I even found, even like a little four inch, if I'm working on mm -hmm. something small, because otherwise, then my hand doesn't get tired. Yeah. And I feel like I always want to stitch closest to where my left hand is. Oh, okay. So if I'm in a bigger hoop, even if I have that much room, mm -hmm. I'm always moving it over anyway. Tanya does that too. She yeah. uses a four inch and she just keeps, keeps moving, moving it all over. around. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So I brought I So brought let's mine. see what you brought. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't really finish anything, but not because I don't want to. Mm -hmm. Let's have that discussion too. Are you okay. a process or? Um... I am definitely a production. I want to see it on my wall. I'm both. Mm -hmm. Because some people say it's the prop, you know, it's the actual stitching, which yeah. is. But if I don't get it finished, I get frustrated. And I, because I, that's the reason I started it. It's because I envision it, seeing it someplace where I want to hang it. Okay. Okay. Now, I don't think this is a pattern that you have. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. With all of them that you have. Yeah. I'm trying to be a smarty pants to see. <laughs> Are you ready? I don't think so. No? Okay, we'll show. That one is... Have you ever had a um, Claudia Dutcher... Dutcher... What is Claudia that? Claudia Dutcher Kinsler. Um, is a renowned, um, she knows everything about it, Bristol. Everything. And everything. Her lectures are awesome. So Awesome. I love this. I'm doing it for the squirrel. Yes. And, okay, I found this out about Claudia because I started, um, you know, I followed her Facebook page and saw her. She has the same birthday I do. Oh, cool. I know. Cool. Because, you know, when you have the same birthdays, you know that you're, you're connected yes, someone. Yes. Okay, you ready? This yeah. is on 36 count. Oh, let me I have see. no Looks idea good. what the linen is. Oh, that's your back. Oh, wait. <laughs> so I only stitch on this on my lunch. Okay. Oh, okay. wow. Look at you. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. So, but here's what the other What thread are you using? This is it's... the Thread Gatherer. Okay. Um, hand dyed silk, and this is in the reds. Oh. In the reds. So it's, it's beautiful. Variegated. Yeah, you can see it's, it's big. It's big. I love to smell that linen. Does it kind of smell like summer to you? Or it kind of smells like outside okay. stitching. Okay. No? Or just linen? Yeah. So anyway, I cannot wait to get to the squirrel. Okay. Yeah. Lord is my shepherd. I love that one. So that's what I'm working on. And then there's my hoop inside. Queen hoop. 
But is it a hard, it looks like a Hardwick hoop. Is it not? I don't think it is. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a, a good hoop. It it's looks... better than just yeah. the cheapy, but yeah. I really, I think I probably found that one at Goodwill. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. It's a nice hoop. Most of my hoops I find at Goodwill. Very so, nice. Yeah. Okay, so if you, you're pretty much monogamous stitcher then? Is... For the most part. For yeah. the most part, yes. Yes. I will I stitch something until it's done, um, unless I'm not happy with it, which we talked a little bit about yeah. before. If I'm um, not happy, I move on to something else. And okay, then. but like you have the two started, so will you alter? Oh, you just talked about this. Mm -hmm. Are you keeping one at one stitching mm -hmm. place and one at the other? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so which one will you stitch on? Today, up in, upstairs, with the sun, I will stitch on Mary Finley oh. because it's a darker linen. Yeah. Um, but now I'm doubt, doubting the lightness of the other one, so I might have to recut a piece of linen. So. See, I don't think I would ever do that. I would never restart something. I don't have it in me. I only have a few stitches in, no big deal. But I think part of it is because I, I feel like I don't have the time. But do you feel like that? Or can we can we talk about serious things for a, sure. a minute, like sure. working? Sure. <laughs> Like working full time in our sixties, that is a serious issue. I always and it hasn't. It's just not because of my age. I have always felt like I've been a frustrated stitcher. Like when my kids were little, I could. That's when I did most of my cross stitching was when they were little. But when they napped and I could finally part myself to lay them down because I love to rock them, mm -hmm. then I would stitch while they're okay. napping. But I always feel like I'm a frustrated stitcher because I just don't have the time to do it. I certainly didn't when my kids were little. Yeah. I never stitched until they went to bed. Mm -hmm. And then in high school, they were very active. So we, they were very active in the band. The band mm -hmm. here and um, at Prospect would, would go to competitions and we would travel with them. And they would be around the state and we would go. And so our weekends were always gone. So it was very, until they moved to college, until mm -hmm. they went to went college, to college yeah. then I felt like I had more time. And I still, to this day, I used to get up early and stitch before I went to work. Mm -hmm. Now I don't. Um, I go to work, I get home, but I don't stitch until after dinner. It yeah. just drummed in me. I don't come home and stitch. Mm -hmm. I usually come home and do some chore or something well, you have to have some kind of balance yep. and that's where i find for me this time of year because i do love to be in the yard and mm -hmm. i have to you know jim's retired so when i'm home i you know sometimes i'd rather be stitching than sitting with him watching a car show but mm -hmm. <laughs> do you know what i mean <laughs> but sometimes you gotta give them a little bit of attention <laughs> so if we're in the same room <laughs> that's enough yeah so, but Jim complains about my light, so that pushes me to the other oh. room. But what I was going to say is, did you, as much as you traveled then, did you, could you stitch in the car? No. No? no. See, no. I can. No. I, can. I never stitch. I never took it with me. Really? Nothing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So if you go, like when you go out to the attic, you don't stitch on the plane? No. 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 Some people do, though. No. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. A lot of people yeah. do. But I just never... Is it motion sickness or you can't concentrate on it? I just need a light. I need a magnifier. It's just too much. Yeah. And I just... Not enjoyable if you're no. not doing it in your space. No, yeah. no. Even stitching at a retreat. We've joked about it. Laura and I just don't put very many stitches in. Because mm -hmm. we want... Part of being... The part best part about being at a retreat is meeting the, the people. people. Yeah. And learning uh, from the teachers mm -hmm. about history of the samplers or whatever they're doing, why they picked certain projects. So that's what you pay attention to. But don't you think that that's why you and Laura are, I want, I want to say so successful on YouTube, but why I think everybody feels like they're your friend and that they know you anyway is because, I mean, I so that was interesting because I could imagine that if you want to go and stitch, some people want to go and stitch. They don't, you know, they want to meet the people, but mm -hmm. it's also, you know, like for me, I don't know how I would feel because I haven't gone on a retreat like that, but I mm -hmm. might feel like, oh, this is my only time to stitch. I want to get this done. But you guys are so, but I think that's a special quality because 
you're not just sharing the stitching part, you're sharing the heart, friendship part of it. Right, right. You know? That's what it's all about. Yeah. We're just yeah. keeping it real. Yeah. There's the way we are on our floss tube yeah. is the way we are in person. Yeah. There is no... Um, are you finding that with a lot of the people that you meet that also have floss tubes? That they're... they're who the, they are, yeah. For the most part, yeah. 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 I like... Um, I have my favorite floss mm -hmm. tubers that I watch, mm -hmm. um, and I like it when they're just talking and not, it's just the way they Try, are, yeah. like they're sitting at a table with me. Yeah. I don't need a lot of, I don't want to watch a lot of editing. I don't, I, that will totally turn me off. Well, so. plus Brenda, because I don't edit, I, by the time I figure out something to edit, I could be sewing something. I don't mm -hmm. want to use my time <laughs> doing technical yes. stuff. No. So, okay, do we want to jump into, because let me, let me just say thank you so much. Um, You're very welcome. I know I'm getting a little, a little serious here, but I just did my first lectures that we talked about. Yes. The goods and the bads of it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the way it happens. It's real life. Uh, yes. So on um, Bring More Flowers mm -hmm. lecture, I've already shared with everyone that I forgot Sam's quilt. And Sorry, I'm not I'm not paying attention to you guys because Brenda's sitting here with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're um, we're doing yeah, it in real life. Yeah. Um. So in my bring more flowers, I asked and graciously had four four friends. You're now my friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, share a part of their grieving story because it was all about me grieving and working through this quilt with Sam. Mm -hmm. And the part this was the the best part, although I forgot the quilt is that I didn't have it finished anyway. Mm -hmm. And as in talking to Sarah, and I was kind of, you know, like, I got to get this done, and I just don't feel like working on it. She kind of freed me of that and said, that is part of the story. Right. That is part of the grieving and the story is you are you work right. on it when... So, when you're um, called to work on it. Yes. So you shared a story. I had my friend Rita shared a story, Sarah, and then my friend Cece from the Thread Th Th Gatherer. So those four stories saved the day. <laughs> <laughs> and I did show, um, I pulled um, for yours, I pulled a picture of you. I kind of cropped your face in the grouping that you had when everybody came to your house, all the stitchers came. Uh, this In July? Yeah, I oh, cropped, okay. cropped a picture there. I showed a picture of you and Laura from your floss tube. And then I showed the Red Deer, because that one's my favorite, and then yours, the Rachel House. Yes. So I shared your story, and I, everyone was really so touched with it, and I thought I thought that there was kind of hidden stories amongst all the stitching that maybe people don't talk about, mm -hmm. but you did share, you showed us the, which sampler was it? It's the working? Floral Motif Sampler Yes. by the Scarlet House, and as it turns out, that's been Tanya's number one chart. That's sold. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Well, probably just, because it know. was um, because it's a um, she's taken motifs from her antique samplers mm -hmm. and incorporated it into this. It's not a reproduction; it's just her adaption of mm -hmm. many, many samplers and their motifs. And it's like a when you finish each one, it's like a little mm -hmm. celebratory. Oh, I finished it. Yeah. And that was my um, chemo piece. Mm -hmm. So I I wanna I wanna tell you truly what you and Laura meant to me while I was grieving Sam because you don't even know. Um, but I also wanna do you wanna talk a little bit about how you felt about your stitching and I mean did that really I mean were there times where you didn't feel like stitching kinda like me on Sam's quilt or did you from um January of 2021 until like April, I did not stitch. Mm -hmm. I was so um, sick and I didn't know it. And um, so I didn't stitch for several. And my husband, they and my family knew that. They knew that something was wrong because I wasn't stitching. All I could do was sleep. And um, can, I, can I ask you something though? Mm -hmm. But were you think? Did you feel like you were well, or did you think it was more of a mental thing? Like, I knew why, I wasn't like, well. Why can't I? Why don't I feel like stitching? I knew yeah. that something was wrong, um, and you know, went to the doctor and it, 
doesn't matter. Yeah. I knew something was wrong. Yeah. And finally then got the diagnosis and um, then everything shifted. Um, I knew that what was wrong, I had an excellent, excellent mm -hmm. doctor and um, I moved forward and stitched. Was and I never got upset of this diagnosis ever. I never you cried didn't? about it. Nope. Not at all. So there was, it wasn't a, did you have to think about whether or not you and Laura were going to share it on the floss tube or did well, you know that you would? No, I wasn't going to. I said that I needed prayers because I was going through some stuff. Mm -hmm. Jean from the attic texted me and asked, you know, I told her what was wrong and everything. And she goes, you need to tell everybody. Mm -hmm. She said, um, they're thinking the worst and you need to share oh. that. She goes, be, be, you know, do it in whatever way makes you comfortable. Mm -hmm. And she encouraged me to share. So I shared 60 seconds worth of mm -hmm. what was wrong, mm -hmm. so on and so forth. And that was it. And kept updates, you know, but that I didn't go into all the details and well and I remember that show and I think not only for me but um because I know I'm sure it meant a lot to you and Laura for for the feedback that you got oh absolutely but, the um, stitching community yeah rallied around um, me and yeah. I could feel that well, and Jean has said the same thing and you did I have your pin I cushion in the something. other room I was like that um but for me to be able to do that for you, it gave, I think it gave all the people that did send you stuff and mm -hmm. still do. Mm -hmm. And I don't need to tell you the truth. What? <laughs> I did. I did. Okay, so when we when I first wanted to interview you guys, should, should, I, should I tell the dollar store? Yeah, store? yeah. Okay, so, because this kind of goes along with... Um, don't let me forget to tell you about how you made me feel when I was grieving Sam. But um, yeah, I can't remember. I think there was a lot of hugaboo going on in the cross stitch world. That wasn't. That there was, always is, and I stay as far away yes. from it as I can. And I was like, I think I saw one post on Instagram, and I was like, oh, something, something's going on, but I didn't know what. And then you guys made, you guys handle. Can I just say that you guys handle life so graciously, and I think that's. Um, I'm not just like brown nosing or blowing mm -hmm. smoke. I think that's why, and why it's a pleasure for me to come and meet you too, is I think even at my age of 64, teaching me how, like, I want to be like her when I grow up. That's how, no, but you know, that's how I want to go through life. I, I want to be like that. And I think a lot of people feel that way. So when you guys shared, the way you guys handled that whole thing, because I was feeling kind of down that day, and probably because I was working, who knows. <laughs> but I went, to, I left work, and I was like, and I have to tell you, I kind of go week to week. I don't, I'm not like a financial, you know, whiz, and I just have money stacked away. So I have mm -hmm. to be very careful what I decide. I'm, I'm going to spend my money on, you know, what mm -hmm. fabrics, whatever. Right. Um, so I thought, you know what, I really want to do something for Brenda and Laura so that they know that they cheered me up today. I don't have any money, but I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree on my lunch and I'm gonna pack up all this dollar shit. <laughs> all the dollar shit that I can to give. And it didn't look like much, but I did bring that. Yes. And, and you know, that's kind of for your um, planners, your books, oh, okay. all those stickers and okay. stuff. Okay, yes. That's what yes. it was for. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, it's a thought that counts. You I know, don't... people send stuff and it it's so, it's from their heart. I know, and that's but... all that matters, you know? So, but this is the other part of that. So I posted pictures of it, and I thought, I'm going to make them something special. So I made one pin cushion that has a yo-yo on it, and then I made a needle book that she yo-yos. Okay. 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 I got one made, and then, so whether that one's for you or Laura, I don't know. And then the other one, I was like, okay, now I'm going to make another one, and that's why I'm going to send you guys. Well, then I contacted you trying to see if we could get together, yeah. and it wasn't going to work out. It was a bad time for everybody. And then, you know, summer, and we got busy, right, right. and then I was like, Oh, when am I going to make that other one? Well, then my quilt guild saw it, and they were like, "Oh my gosh, can you do? Can you use that for the lecture?" And blah blah. I'm like, "Ah, uh, sure. Like, yeah, I'm not. I'll never make the other one." Right. So I really had something else made for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "I can't." 
I don't have time to make the right. other one. So I get you guys that. might get it someday, but it's not gonna be. It won't be this year. That's you know. So anyway, it doesn't but, matter. But um, I do. I do want to say this because I I get crossed over between that whole time with COVID and um, Sam was back and forth between here between with me and his dad, and he was just lost, just trying to find his way, and um, he when he came home like the, the whole month before he passed away mm -hmm. it was like revelation like he figured everything out um life was good he was living with me and he was getting an apartment and it was just like boom 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 and I thought this is it and then um I haven't shared a lot but then he died of fentanyl mm -hmm. um an accidental dose I don't know how accidental it could be I know where he got it so some people are like that's that's just murder. And I'm like, I don't know. I, I'm not getting into the whole fentanyl controversy and drug thing because it's really just too hard for me. Mm -hmm. But in that vein, it was coming out of, we were still in COVID, but it was kind of like, it was 2021. So I had found you and Laura during COVID. Yeah, we just started it yeah, it was, in 2019. Yeah, so I found you during COVID, I think. And I don't even know why, because I wasn't cross-stitching again yet. Isn't that funny? I don't mm -hmm. know why you guys came up for me, because I mm -hmm. wasn't. So it was kind of like it was meant to be. Yeah. And I truly, I mean, there were days where I could not, Brenda, I don't know if anybody else feels like this, but I did feel like, what is wrong with me? Because I'm like, I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't even know if I like people. I mean, it was deep. Like, mm -hmm. I don't like anybody. I don't want to be around my family. I mean, I just wanted to be in my own little thing. Cocoon. And that was not, and it, it wasn't even depression. It was, because I've been depressed before. This was different. And yeah, so I'm sure it was grieving. Yes, it's grieving. Mm -hmm. But at a level I've never even known. Like, I mm -hmm. didn't think that I could, I really didn't think I was going to come out the other side. But watching you and Laura, it seriously made me feel like, even though I didn't interact and wasn't being mm -hmm. friends with anybody and mm -hmm. interacting, to watch it, mm -hmm. I mean, it's almost this, it's almost, help me. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, there's so many people that have come up to us, and that's our biggest compliment. Yeah. When someone comes up to us and says, we've got them through a rough patch and mm -hmm. all we're doing is talking about stitching. We're not putting on a show. We're just getting together every other week and talking about stitching. But it's and the real life friendship. stuff that mm -hmm. goes on with both of us, we don't put that out there because mm -hmm. there everyone has life's right. tribulations. And my whole story, people would be shocked at my life story. And, but again, Laura and I don't talk about that. Mm -hmm. We talk about stitching. When I got sick, it was inevitable that mm -hmm. I, because I certainly didn't look good. Um, that I, I thought you did. Um, that I say something and with Jean's encouragement, I mm -hmm. did. But other than that, we don't share what happens in our, in our everyday lives at all. And I think we just, because we keep it to just stitching, it's everyone's escape from their life stories because we're not we don't do the number one thing we said when we started a floss tube is one we're not going to do giveaways because we don't have time for it mm -hmm. and meaning we don't have time to mail the stuff right, out right, and all of that right. we just don't it's a and lot of work it's a lot of work, a lot and of the work people, just sitting down and filming it yes yeah and people don't realize that the giveaways take a lot of time and money mm -hmm. to do um, because of the postage, so mm -hmm. on and so forth. We just don't have time. So we weren't going to do giveaways, and we weren't doing life updates. Um, we just weren't. We're just going to get on. We're going to shoot the, you know, film once, yeah. and have a nice day, and Laura's on her way home as I'm uploading the video. Okay, so. but I do have to interrupt, because I think you're downplaying a little bit, because this is, because I want to make sure you're getting what I'm saying. Okay. So listen up, girl. <laughs> I know what you're saying, but but okay. So, but I I would bet. Wouldn't it be interesting to know how many people watch you who don't even cross stitch? Yeah, that would be that because would I be, think that that, that would be, would be interesting because 
because you, I mean, I, I do cross stitch and I love cross stitch and I want to cross stitch more, but I also do so many other things that isn't just my sole focus. Mm -hmm. But I still watch because, and it's not even the stitching, this is what you're downplaying. Even though you guys aren't sharing stuff, it's your, um, it's your connection and your friendship. So for me, it, it was like, see, it was like watching how important it is to have friends mm -hmm. and to have those connections. Like, mm -hmm. Kelly, don't shut yourself off. Like I kept telling myself, I'm, I'm happy if I just stay here. I'm just happy if I stay here and stitch, I'll go to work and I'll come home and I'll just sit and stitch and have gym and go on our rides. But watching you guys made me feel like you have to participate in life. You can't just sit here. Your friends will get you through. Go out there. Go out there. And that's, now I'm kind of like out there. <laughs> Can I come that's over? interesting because Laura and I are both, um, when we go to a retreat, you know, we meet people, mm -hmm. we talk, we love doing all that, but then we can't wait to, to get, get home. home. And because we're both very, um, as Laura said, hermits. And we like, on the weekends, because we worked, you know, mm -hmm. I work four days now. Laura still works five. That time on the weekends um, is yours. Is ours. And um, being just being at home mm -hmm. is my safe place. You know, so. I it, well, I will say that about myself as well. And do you know there's a word for it? Hmm. Okay, there's two words, and I, I once okay, there's introvert, extrovert. I think it's ambient, ambient bird or omnivore. There, those, I thought I was ambient bird, but I think it's omnivore. Okay. And that is when, like at work, I, you know, I have to be nice to people. And, right. You know, right. right. I mean, you do. You, you, oh, yeah. You, know, you, you have, have to be to. nice and pleasant. And mm -hmm. doesn't that wear you down? Like mm -hmm. when I'm at home, I'm exhausted just mm -hmm. from being nice all day. You have to be on. You have to be on. That's right. And so I love being home, but an omnivore, so I'm going to say you and Laura are too. When you're around people, you can match that mm -hmm. energy and be out there. Mm -hmm. But then you almost need that retreat and to be home to recharge. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. That's it's exactly so important. true. Exactly so, true. And saying that you need to recharge so you can stitch. <laughs> I got to get home so I can stitch. Is that really yes. <laughs> Get the hell out of off my couch. I need to stitch. No. It's been fun. It's yes. been a lot of fun. So what so. else? Is there anything that we missed? Mm -mm. I mean, if you if if you had anything that you could say to like all your your subscribers besides just thank you, is there I mean, is there a true stitching is um is more than just pulling a needle through fabric. Mm -hmm. It is connecting with the designer who may have designed it or the little girl who may have stitched mm. it 200 years ago or whatever. And meeting the people that share your same passion um, because for me, it is a passion mm -hmm. and an obsession. And I cannot imagine a day that I will never stitch again. Um, Isn't that something? I, mm -hmm. you know, and life is short, mm -hmm. very short. And don't, if you don't like something that you're stitching, throw it out. Mm -hmm. um, cut it in half. That's, I've done that numerous times. And I don't feel guilty at all. And you know what? I, now that we've been around and your walls are just so covered, there was something about me that if I was taking the time to make something, I almost felt like it had to be a a reason that I was taking selfish time. Mm -hmm. So I'd always justify it by saying I was stitching it for somebody and then giving it as a gift. And it's I'm not so, selfish time. I am so over that, Brenda. Mm -hmm. I, I really don't have a whole lot for myself because I've given it all away. And just a couple years ago, I decided, uh-uh, I'm not, I'm yeah. not really it's making you, things for you anybody do, anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it's who I am. It's what I do. Mm -hmm. It's the legacy I'm going to leave besides my two girls. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And if anyone gains anything, just the same adage, stitch what you love. And I yeah. truly mean that. Yeah. You know, if you don't yeah. love it, move mm -hmm. on. Move on. Well, isn't Brenda just what she <laughs> seems to be? Okay. Shh. Isn't Brenda just a little peach? <laughs>
All right, Brenda. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. Okay, you're so very, I'm very gonna welcome. pack up. I'm okay. gonna see. Okay, I'm gonna reach in front and I'm gonna okay. turn off. Okay. Say bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Hi, you guys. So <clears throat> we just finished up with the video of Brenda from Brenda in the Serial Starter. She is Brenda Sampler Stitcher on Instagram. And I, I couldn't even wait till <laughs> to get home to talk to you and put an ending to this whole video that I wanna get posted tonight. Um, I was, of course, of course, so <laughs> inspired to stitch that as soon as I left there, I said, is there anything, is there a, a stitching store on my way out of here? So besides the Michaels or Joann's, there wasn't really anything locally to Brenda. So I just got on the road and started driving home. It's about an, about an hour and a half. It took me a little bit longer with uh, Friday uh, work traffic, but I haven't even been home yet. I came straight to Joann Fabrics. I'm gonna get um, some DMC. I really want to start the sampler um, that I got from Needlework Press. I'll, ha I'll, I'll show it to you. Um, I want to get some DMC floss for that. And then I'm going to pick up some yarn for a rug hooking project that I'm starting to go with Hadley and Reed in the Lake Ripley Monster. I'm kind of working on that that I told you about for the lecture that I want to submit for next year, for 2025 to the great... Wisconsin Quilt Show. So, um, what what did you think of Brenda? Did you guys have fun watching that? I let me check that off my bucket list, <laughs> Brenda. Thank you. Um, I mean, of course, uh, it it was she was her house was her her husband's garden. I mean, it was all just what you would think it would be. I. I'm gonna have to watch the video back myself because I, you know when you feel like you're outside of your body? And it wasn't because I didn't feel comfortable. I did feel so comfortable with her, which I knew I would, I think anybody would, if you got to spend time talking to her, being in her house. Um, <clears throat> Laura too, I, I'm i really sorry Laura couldn't be there. It just worked out that Brenda and I could do it on a Friday and when we're both playing hooky from work. And um, so I really hope someday to meet Laura and pick her brain a little bit and um, then I can check her off my bucket list. But um, do you guys have a bucket, bucket list? I'm curious to know that. Um, I, I do, and, and I'm having fun being able to check, check some of those things off. So I just wanna tell you thank you for following along on that video today it was so much fun I hope that it conveyed everything that I hoped it would um, what what Brenda's stitching means to her what her stitching means to me and <clears throat> some of my friends that I know are into different crafts too it, it's not even just cross stitching it I think all of this crafting the quilting and rug hooking and embroidery and um, I think it, it just all crosses over. I'm not sure what I want to say. I'm just sitting here in a hot car waiting to go into Joanne Fabrics. But again, I just wanted to give you a good ending to this video and tell you um, that I hope you enjoyed it and that, yes, it, it again was everything that I thought it would be. It was certainly worth the trip and I hope that's not the end of um, uh, my communications and friendship with Brenda. Um, and I just want to tell her thank you. Thank you so, so much for opening up your home, Brenda. It was such a treat. Um, we had Jimmy John's for lunch and we chatted a bit and, um, you know, I love the, the come as you are, uh, barefoot, come on in and, um, welcoming home that she has. It was so special. I wish you all could have been there with me. I'm trying to think if I had anything else to say about her samplers. Now that I'm thinking back and remembering what I was looking at, I realized I, I knew I was trying to take it all in because I knew that I knew I was kind of like in a dream state and that I would hope that I would remember things. But I'm going to tell you, um, not that her stitching isn't absolutely, absolutely wonderful. It is. Um, 
I've said this, the Red Deer is absolutely my favorite. It's my favorite one that she has stitched. Um, I, I looked at it a couple times and I really want to stitch that one. It was a GGR. Um, but what really, what I'm really walking away from her house being in love with was that um, Mary Griffiths, was it Griffiths or Griffith? The antique one that she's had up in the corner on the wall that she had all her antiques uh, that she said she hadn't researched or knew anything about. Oh wow, that there there is something about that one that I just absolutely fell in love with. So, okay, what else? Am I gonna start? Am I gonna try something on 56 count? I think I am. I, I really think I am. I'm gonna choose maybe um, like like Brenda said, maybe just a little monogram. I'm gonna do it in a single color, and oh boy, I'll let you know how that goes let you know how that goes so thank you so much for being here with me on a friday i can't wait for you to see this and share brenda and the spirit of laura with you um because she was you know she was in the conversation and and she's part of what uh brenda does so it, it was all combined and um i just want to thank you guys so much for being here this was the very first stitching cafe stitching cafe <laughs> i don't i don't i'm gonna call it conversations or chats it's because it's not really an interview we just chatted and i absolutely loved it so thank you again brenda and i'm gonna sign off and go into joanne fabrics and i will let you know that on um sunday i'm gonna be recording another one with my friend denise who is a member of the uh west suburban quilt guild here in brookfield wisconsin and then next week, I'm talking to Donna, my new friend, who's president of the West Suburban Quilt Guild. I always have to like think about that and section it off when I say it. So I have a few that I have a few coming. So I hope you will stay tuned and watch. And I hope you have a really, really beautiful weekend. Bye.